Hello, good day everyone. So this is a tutorial or an instructional video on how to apply to become one of the Google for Education uh, certifications. So you, if you are interested to be one of the Google Certified Educator Level 1 or Level 2, uh, here is the instructions on how to go about it for you. So just go to uh, this https colon double slash edu.google.com slash teacher dash center slash certifications and then uh, slash again then press enter then you will be redirected to this page like this so this is the landing page for the google for education uh, certifications again that's https uh, colon double forward slash edu.google.com slash teacher dash center slash certifications and then here you have distinguished yourself in your classroom and career with certifications from google for education and you have the option to take um, like for example if you want to earn your educator level one certification and that is valid for three years actually level one and level two certifications are valid for three years both of them uh the, the testing time is around 180 minutes or that's three hours of exam and uh, for level one certification you that will cost you around ten dollars or around 480 pesos right now in the philippines or 500 pesos while for level 2 certification that will cost you 25 US dollars or that's how much that's 750 I think that's 750 pesos in the Philippines so that's you're going to pay it if you pass uh, you have already paid and if you fail there's no refund for <laughs> for the for failing the exam there's no refund of the payment that you have uh, given so if you start because if you start with level one first just go here and then click get started and yeah take the certification exam uh, good for those who have vouchers vouchers are given by uh, google certified partners i mean google partners but if you want to take this on your own you just need to register click register button and since you're taking a Google exam, for you to continue to webassessor.com, you need to register using a Google account. So for example, in my case, I'll just enter my, my Google account. Okay. Or like that. Oh, no. And then, let's try to see how this goes enter your password and then viola you have this but for teachers uh, for teachers in deped please use your deped email so please use your deped email for teachers in deped then log in so must be an email address so like for example this one <clears throat> must be an email address if you're registering for an educator exam must yeah like that so for example like this one and then the password contains eight characters so whatever's that then re-enter password legal first name please make sure to put your legal first name in correct spelling because that will be the same spelling that will be appearing in your certificate if ever you pass then the primary phone numbers just add the numbers there your contact numbers like for example 0 9 10 and then address address link city province postal code and secondary email just like that okay and then click save so if you have an account in web assessor if you have already your account so let me show you uh how does web assessor look like so let's try to see 
how does it look like inside when you have the web assessor account oh no uh -huh. I hope I still remember yeah so this is a sample of the web assessor account if you're there to log in then to register for an exam just go click here in the horizontal navigation bar register for an exam and then for educators you have the choice to uh, you know like for example here I already have passed this and for me to take the exam for Google Certified Educator Level 2, I'll just click Buy Now. Like for example, if I click Buy Now. And if you have the voucher, you're just going to click, put the voucher there and click Submit. If you don't have a voucher, you just uh, go to Checkout. And you may pay something like, for example, for level two, that's 25 US dollars again. And for level one, that's 10 US dollars. So check out. Uh, yeah, it will ask for your billing information, like your amount, credit card number or debit card number, CVC number. That's the three numbers at the back. Then card type, that's uh, either Visa, MasterCard, American Express or Discover. The expiration date is also there. But, 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 please make sure that uh, you are in a secured uh, internet connection if you're doing this. So please use only your own Wi-Fi. Do not use the free Wi-Fi wherever the place is like malls, coffee shops, and whatever. Please make sure to, uh, when entering this kind of information, please make sure that your Wi-Fi is, is yours. I mean, you are not in a free Wi-Fi environment because the network man manager will have the access I mean will be can can there's a possibility that he or she will be able to see your credentials okay so just click submit later on so if uh, in your assessments or certifications in the horizontal uh, nav bar there you'll be able to see the like completed exams scheduled exams because uh, that's the this these are the certification like this okay status then receipts so if you're done registering for the exam just check your email because instructions on how to go about the exam will be sent to your respective emails now for trainers like this if you want to be a GFF trainer skills assessment so that's around 15 US dollars Okay. And for level 2, again, that's $25. And for level 1, that's $10. US So, again, the website is uh, what's this? edu.google.com slash teacher-center slash certifications. So, GCE level 1 is $10. US GCE level 2 is $25. US and for the trainer skill assessment, that's 15 US dollars. So thank you so much and good day.